Now it is for real. The tactics and squad strengths have been analysed by committed fans and neutral observers to the nth degree. A confrontation that all football lovers will revel in, knowing that we might be about to witness a simply unmissable occasion. Who will come out on top? Stay with us, we'll have every kick of the ball for you on EA TV. Hello and a warm welcome to the South Coast. We find ourselves today at St Mary's Stadium. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And what we have for you is live action from the Championship. It's Southampton up against Watford. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Smallbone. Well, they've given him too much space. He got in the way of that cross. And it's gone out of play. Goal kick coming up. And so the table looks like this. For Leeds United, a surprise really to see them struggle in the manner that they have. Well, what a poor season they're having. I really thought they would be challenging for the title. There just seems to be something wrong with the attitude of the players at the moment. And that needs to change quickly. Well, not giving him any breathing room. First goal of the game. Well, let's take another look. And you have to say the defending is so poor. That's far too easy. The keeper had no chance there. Well, it's a big moment for him. Just needs to get his players refocused now. One nil then. James Bree. Holgate. Arribo. Will Smallbone. Che Adams. Well, using the space really well, you've got to say. Big opportunity. Goalkeeping of the highest order. Well, he's got to be pleased with that save. It's absolutely magnificent. And taken short. Very quick thinking there. The corner kicks keep on coming. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Oh, such an elegant finish! How about that on the volley? A brilliant strike. Whatever way you look at it. Well, here it is again. And you have to say, it's the perfect delivery into the danger area. And it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Determined defending. It's going to be a Southampton ball.
James Bree. Downs. Mason Holgate with it. Holgate. Flynn Downs. Jake Vokins. Mason Holgate with it. The referee spotted the little nick on the way through. So a throw in coming up. Vokins. Sulemana. I must say, this looks promising. Using his physical strength to shield it. Can they exploit the space out wide? Berge giving it a try. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. <laughs> Played over. Well, it still could be dangerous. And a goal! In the lead again, fully deserved! Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better played into just the right area which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end it's a really good goal well just look at his reaction that could prove to be a massive goal for his team so the ball is rolling again 2-1 the scoreline He might be able to profit from the wide position. Could cross it in here. Can they cover up? And they deal with the threat this time. Well, plenty of scope for them to attack. Surely the equaliser. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Chance to play it in. It is a decent looking attack here. Electing to cross into the centre. Well, he so badly wanted to net another one, but the keeper playing his part. Well, maybe that should have been his second, but you can see another one coming. He's playing so well here. <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. Not away completely. And delivered into the box. Well blocked, but he must clear it away. Jay Adams. Now, who can he play it to? Fraser. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Could be! Well, his own teammate stopping him and a pretty tight offside call by the look of it. Well, he is offside when the ball hits him. But there's not much he can do there. I think the keeper had it covered anyway. <laughs> the 
Now looking dangerous here. In a decent position now. Well, we are going to have a decent amount of stoppage time. Three minutes to be exact. Can he play it in? He'll have a go here. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Well, I think it's fair to say he's not overly pleased, is he? He's driven in the corner. And oh, and off the bar. Half time then. That brings the first half to a close here on the south coast. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play. So back underway here into the second half. A news coming through of a goal in the Leeds match. Alex Scott, who has scored it? It's a goal for Leeds United. It was an early cross which found him in acres of space and it was a beautiful headed finish. They're the first on the score sheet here with 48 minutes played. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Smallbone. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Well, the championship is such a competitive division and this is a game for you to look forward to on EA TV. It's Southampton against Plymouth Argyle. A oh, chance perhaps. Can they keep it out? And held by the keeper at the second time of asking. Well, he's just pulled off a great first save there. Now they can all calm down. Jake Vokins. Superb effort to keep it in. James Bree. Now with Fraser. It's looking promising. That's a nice looking ball. It might end up being a genuine chance. Spot on with that tackle. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Well, it came to nothing in the end. Kamaldin Suleimana. Southampton sloppy in possession. And into the last 30 minutes now. Jürgen Strand Larsen. Shaping to shoot. Oh, that is a superb save. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Trying to pick out a teammate. Still alive. Well, thank goodness for the goalkeeper. Well, they're calm now, but that initial save was absolutely magnificent. This is the message for away supporters. Right, a goal to update you on in the Norwich game. Alex Scott has the information for us. It's a goal for Swansea City. The score's level again now at 1-1 with 66 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. Moving the ball forwards, how creative can they be? They won't complain about having won the corner and maybe an opportunity to increase their advantage. Well, for good measure we can see it again, but clearly not over the line. Can be no debate over that decision. 
Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Trying to deliver it accurately. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Oh, no let up, plenty of pressure. Holgate. Vokins. And back now to Bazunu. James Bree. Downs. Rewarded for that brilliant high press. And there it is! A two-goal cushion now. And they just need to keep the concentration. Well, it's great awareness of space in the box. And then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. Well, he looks really pleased, doesn't he? His side have been really good today. Well, it's a tale of four goals in this match now. 3-1 it is. Life is never dull in the Championship. Live action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Watford facing Norwich City. Wasteful from Southampton. El Yunusi. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Now the situation has changed in one of the other games I'm hearing. Let's go to Alex Scott. Yeah, it's a goal for Preston North End. The defender was caught in possession just before the goal. He won't want to be watching that back. It's all even Stevens at 1-1 with 79 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. Mm -hmm. Trying to find the right angle of attack. Can he get one back? Oh, my word. There's excellent timing for you. What a challenge. Could be a chance to break here. And it's a quality pass. Elianusi. And with that, the attack fizzles out. The cross is on. And crossing towards the far post. Oh, wonder goal! Right out of the top drawer. Who could do better than that? Well, here it is again, and all you can do is admire the skill. That's a really clever goal, you have to say. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Aribo. Well, I believe there's been a goal in the Hull match. Alex has the details for us. Yep, second one for Hull City. They're now behind by one, with only a few minutes left to play. Thanks, as always, to Alex Scott. Jake Vokins. Mason Holgate with it. Fraser. And the referee has decided to add on three additional minutes. Pulls it back. Now they stopped them in their tracks. Sulemana. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. Fraser. 
And that will be that. It is now official and it will go down as a positive result for Watford. How would you sum it up? You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. No two ways about it. He really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.